Well, hi guys, and welcome back to the SPL Daily Recap here on day number four of the Smite World Qualifier match here in the group stage. You had two more teams to send to Worlds, and we had two sets to do so. Jim, I got Inbound and Trelly joining me here as we break down those two sets. First one we had of the day, Hex Mambo versus Gilded Gladiators Inbound. This was one that people were thinking might have been a little bit closer, but once Hex Mambo stepped onto the battleground, it was anything but close. Mm -mm. It was not close, and it wasn't really like the Johnny Carey show. Like, that's sometimes, a lot of times, what you expect with a Mambo team. But this time, it was... Kha'Zix playing very well, Spudio playing very well, Julio pulled out the Osiris and was dominating with it, and it was just across the board, everybody on the Mambo team was just outperforming their counterparts on the Gladiators, and I think this is the game that they needed going into Worlds to kind of like set the momentum and get them ready for Worlds. And then we had one more qualifying match now for our final spot, and it was a pretty big one and a massive storyline that could have gone with that one. The Camelot Kings still had made it yet to the World Championships, facing off against the Kowloon Wardens, and this set goes a little bit longer than the first one. Ended up going the four games with this, but Camelot Kings, after their first initial loss, able to bounce back pretty hard and really kind of command this set, Trelly. Yeah, exactly, and that's sort of what we all expected. They're a team that adapts very quickly, and they, they don't make many mistakes once they understand what their team is going, or the enemy team is going to do, rather, and that's pretty much what happened here. It was the Wardens game number one, they, they, they found exactly what the Wardens were going to do, the picks they wanted to go for, and then the Camelot Kings essentially put a stop to it. It wasn't as if it was completely one-sided. I think the Wardens were commanding in games three and four, but it's late game, right? That is where the Kings thrive, and unfortunately, that's where the Wardens struggled. Remember yesterday, they had a close matchup up against uh, the Scarabs, where it seemed like every matchup the Wardens owned early game, and then just couldn't close it out, and unfortunately, that was the part that mattered. Yeah, I kind of flipped the inverse this time, where it was the Kings who were able to dominate through a lot of the early game, late game, and the one that the Wardens did get managed to be their big win there. But that was all of our matches. We now qualified all four of our teams. And as far as bracket, I'm going to try and immediately try to remember this off the top of my head. We have Six Ferryman versus the Solar Scarabs yep. for our first quarterfinal matchup. We have the Jade Dragons and the Highland Ravens. That's the fourth seed, Jade Dragons, getting that matchup on there. And then the opposite side of the brackets, the Leviathans and Hex Mambo. Yep. And then finally, it rounds out the Camelot Kings and the Oni Warriors for all four of our quarterfinals. Finals. And that all kicks off in just five days on Friday, January 12th. We start up the SWC in Arlington, Texas. So I hope that every single one of y'all out there are going to be at the event. And if you can't make it to the event, hope that you tune in over on twitch.tv slash my game. But that's it for the re recap for the SWC group stage. We hope to see you at Worlds in Arlington, Texas.